हेलो एवरीवन और आज हम खेलने वाले हैं फ्रीक्वेंसी मिसिंग का चैप्टर थ्री सो ज़्यादा टाइम वेस्ट नहीं करते हैं लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड वेलकम टू फ्रीक्वेंसी मिसिंग दिस गेम इज प्लेड इन लैंडस्केप मोड विद द होम बटन टू द राइट ओके मेन मेन्यू कंटिन्यू so i think everyone remembers the story chapter 3 something fishy is going on first richard disappears and then someone edits my segment i better call the club and ask sylvia if she knows what happened to the interview Silverglans Club, Victor speaking. Hello, Victor. It's Patricia from Radio IDUN. Hello. How may I help you? I'd like to talk to Sylvia. Is she there? Now's not a good time. Why is that? Samuel is furious with Sylvia and the whole staff. It's probably best if you don't come here ever again. Good luck. What do you mean? <clears throat> I'm glad I called instead of walking over there. Someone edited my segment. But who? I'll check around the office and see if anyone knows anything. Carl's not here, but he'll probably be here shortly. Okay. To the lobby. Monica doesn't seem to be at her desk. Okay. Let's go to Richard's office. Richard's office. Stephanie seems to have occupied it. She seems to have made herself at home here. Hmm. Where is she? Richard's noteboard. Stephanie probably doesn't know about the safe. Hello Stephanie. You're Patricia, right? Yep. You got a minute? I can probably spare a few minutes. What do you want? Hmm. My broadcast. My Richard's office. Goodbye. Richard, why are you in Richard's office? He wasn't using it. So why should it stay empty? He's only been missing a few days. How does my using his office change anything? He's still missing. A bit disrespectful, don't you think? Isn't it a bit disrespectful of him not to let anyone use such a nice office? You're twisting my words. I am. My broadcast. My broadcast. Yes, about that. If you make changes, you have to tell me. I don't appreciate being surprised with things like this during a live broadcast. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It wasn't me that edited it. <laughs> oh, really? The interview. changes enough about the broadcast the interview i interviewed sylvia silverglands not that idiot samuel that's the one i heard yesterday you've still got a lot to learn but for a beginner it wasn't bad thanks don't let that go to your head now no absolutely not good anything else changes who edited my broadcast it wasn't me that's for sure of course not but someone did Don't give me any vague accusations. I didn't mean to. It's your responsibility to make sure that your material is fit to broadcast. But no buts. I don't want to hear another word about this. Enough about the broad thanks. Was there something else you wanted? Richard's office. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let's go. Cool. To the lobby. Let's go to Chief. The Chief's office. <laughs> Doesn't smell as much as cigars in here today. Hmm. The Chief has to know what happened to my broadcast. Hello. Do you have a minute? Yes. Come in. 
What will happen if I okay. Nah, I have all the keys I need. Okay. There's just music on the radio right now. Hmm. Yes, uh, how may I help you? My broadcast. The club. Goodbye. The club. The Silver Glands Club opening a restaurant isn't much to report on, is it? Why did we run this story? Down at your level, there's really no need for you to worry about politics. And you should be pleased about that. Checks and balances? That's good. You catch on quickly. I understand what Richard sees in you. Good. So what did we get? You got your first story. Be content with that. Okay. My broadcast. Um, my broadcast. What happened to it? What do you mean? It aired. You should be pleased, no? That wasn't my broadcast that went on the air. Explain. I interviewed Samuel, but it wasn't any good. Nothing he said to me was on that broadcast. Patricia, you had one job. You were supposed to run a story about the club. You're telling me you didn't even manage to do that? Yes. I talked to Sylvia Silverglands instead, and that was a lot more interesting. But someone must have edited my broadcast. I have no idea what you're talking about. Those were my questions to Sylvia, but someone had edited in Samuel's answers. Are you saying someone tampered with your interview? I don't know. I refuse to believe that anyone here would do such a thing. Someone must have done it. If it wasn't someone from here, then who? It's best that you leave it alone. Uh, but... Hey, hey, no buts. Just let it go. The club. Goodbye. 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 Mm -hmm. Not fair. Anyways, let's go. To the lobby. So, let's go to newsroom. The newsroom. No live broadcast I can interrupt this time. Monica is down here reading. Let's meet Monica. There's a note on the power switch. Don't touch during broadcast. Oops. Hmm. Hello, Monica. Are you on a break? Yeah, I sit down here sometimes when we're not on the air. Nice and quiet. What's on your mind? My broadcast. Goodbye. My bro- Something was wrong with my broadcast. Really? I thought it sounded great. It had been edited after I handed it in last night. Someone changed all the responses. What? But that's terrible. Workflow. The interview. Work Enough about the broadcast. The interview. My questions were to Sylvia Silverglands, not Samuel. Well, that's just terrible. Who would do that? I don't know. Workflow. How can something like this happen? I don't know. You gave me the tape yesterday and I handed it to Carl so he could work his magic with the audio. I know Chief listened to it. I think he was curious about your first story. Oh, I didn't know he listened to our work. Oh, yeah. He makes sure that everything is of the highest quality. He can be difficult to read sometimes, but I thought he seemed pleased. Now, Stephanie always listens to the material the day before it goes on the air. Then we put it down here until it's time to broadcast it. So it could have been more or less anyone? Yeah, yeah, I, I guess so. <laughs> Workflow. Enough thanks. Was there anything else you wanted? Huh? My, my broadcast. Something was wrong with my broadcast. Really? I thought it sounded great. Sorry, guys. It had been edited after I handed it in last night. Someone changed all the responses. What? But that's terrible. Workflow. How can something like this happen? I don't know. 
You gave me the tape yesterday and I handed it to Carl so he could work his magic with the audio. I know Chief listened to it. I think he was curious about your first story. Oh, I didn't know he listened to our work. Oh, yeah. He makes sure that everything is of the highest quality. He can be difficult to read sometimes, but I thought he seemed pleased. Now, Stephanie always listens to the material the day before it goes on the air. Then we put it down here until it's time to broadcast it. So it could have been more or less anyone? Yeah, yeah, I, I guess so. <laughs> Workflow. Enough about the broad... Thanks. Was there anything else you wanted? Huh? Goodbye. My broad... Goodbye. See you later, Monica. Sorry, guys. I thought that I have not checked the... Workflow option. To the lobby. I wasted the duration. Carl! Hello, Patricia. Congratulations on your first story. Someone had edited it. What? It sounded great yesterday when I mixed it. There's something fishy about that place. Richard was a member there. Maybe he discovered something, and that's why he's missing. We haven't had time to fix that tape you found. Do you think there's something on it? There's only one way to find out. Come to our office and we can examine the tape. Okay. Carl's in my office. Let's see what's on the tape. Hello, Patricia. Are you ready to go to work on the tape? Yes. Yes. Let's do this. I've started to clean it up, but you might as well learn how to do it. I have a built-in function on my tape recorder that can help you. You just have to drag right or left across the wheel to clean up the sound. Keep looking until you get a clear sound. Okay. he says, my son, Samuel. I, Alan Silverglance, hereby give my entire fortune to my son, Samuel. Yes, I hear it now. Someone has edited the will. Who could do that? I could have, but I wouldn't leave such a clear sign that I had tampered with it. A clear sign? I didn't hear it until you pointed it out to me. A layman would probably not notice, but... I've been working with audio since I was a child. There's no doubt that the will has been tampered with. It says the Brandenburg Law Firm on the box. We should head over there and take a look. Yes, absolutely. Could be the scoop of the year. But we can't just leave work. Meet you there tonight? Yes, let's do that. Okay, guys, so... The Brandenburg Law Firm building. Let's see what we can dig up. Okay. A dark alley. I suppose it leads to the back of the house. Huh. It's dark here. Just one lamp lit. Maybe I can get into the law firm from here. What's up? entrance to the law firm. Should I ring the bell? Yes. No answer. And the door is locked. 
shirt. What else? A garbage dumpster. What do I do with it? Hmm? Rummage. Clo do nothing. Close. Rummage. Ugh, yuck! What is that slimy thing? Sometimes I wonder what makes me do these things. Hmm. So... A lit lamp. It sure lights up the alley. Ugh, I can't reach it. The law firm. Should I ring the bell? Yes. No. I think I'll skip it. No use. A window that should lead inside the law firm. Someone is talking on the phone up there. The window is too high up. I need to get closer if I want to hear what he's saying. Okay. So... You want something? Scan. Back to the front of the building. What's here? A pile of empty fruit boxes. Should I bring one with me? Yes. Maybe it can help us. I don't know why I'm picking this up. It might come in handy, I guess. What's that? There's a cat by an open window up there. With the box, I can reach it. Should I try to get up there? Yeah. No. Yes. What a cute little cat you are. But you're in my way. I just need to... Okay, that wasn't so good. The box broke. I probably can't make the cat move. There has to be another way in. Okay. Let's take... Again. Fruit boxes. Should I bring one with me? Yes. I don't know why I'm picking this up. It might come in handy, I guess. Let's go. The alley. Maybe. The garbage dumpster. Close. Can we put the fruit box on it? There. The dumpster is closed. Okay. Let's try. The garbage dumpster. Rummage. Op do nothing. Open. Use box. Okay. Well, I've managed to put a box on top of a dumpster. That's one thing off the bucket list. Now what? Let's go to this one. The box is now on top of the dumpster. Quite the feat if you ask me. <laughs> the law firm. Should I ring the bell? Yes. No. no. I think I'll skip it. Where's window? window. A box on top of a dumpster is very useful. You can, for instance, stand on top of it while you eavesdrop on a shady lawyer while he's on the phone. Should I climb up to the window? Yeah. No. Yes. This should be exciting. She has no proof. <gasps> That's the creepy guy from the VIP room at the club. Was that lawyer Brandenburg? Yes, but take it easy. That reporter doesn't know anything. 
Richard edited her broadcast. No one will ever hear the original. Richard edited... <gasps> Richard! Okay, okay, we'll destroy the tape tonight. I still think you're overreacting. I'll be there as soon as I can. I just need to take care of something first. Oh my. I'd better find that tape before they destroy it. Carl's not here, so I have to do it myself. I didn't expect a slimeball lawyer to have such a nice little office. <sighs> no time to enjoy the scenery, Patricia. He could be back any moment. If I was some kind of evidence, where would I hide? What's that? A safe. That seems promising. I've got my contact, Mike. Okay. Could we make it 3-0 for Patricia versus Locks today? Should I try to open it? Yes. Okay. The locking mechanism looks like the one on Richard's safe. I can do this. Wait, no! What happened? Okay, so I will not play more. That was chapter 3. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and or listening. Chapter 4. Please subscribe.